we go. I think I think this is us now. I think we're done. I think we're on. I think we're live. I don't think anyone is viewing us just yet because it's always the setup at the moment. Um, um, there's the reset, I'm assuming, from Fire Trin after a many time of just messing around. Um, so yeah, definitely. Uh, Did you just restart the map? Oh my word. And we get interrupted by some creme. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think Hi. Trin's. I think Trin's just done it. So. All right. You have the bracket and all that stuff. I do have the bracket up. Yeah. All right. Have fun. Be good. Don't fight. GG. Goodbye, ref. So this is. Um, I think this is the third. <clears throat> third third tournament. If I'm not right, Nos. You're gonna have to. Gonna have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong. No, nah, completely right, man. Third one. Oh, I mean, yeah. we had. You know, well, I mean, there was other tournaments, obviously, but the ones that we've called, this definitely is the third one. So, so let us have a look at the bracket, which I'm just going to bring up right now. So anyone that is watching, don't mind the tab in. Um, so at the moment, which we seem to have, we have a good list actually tonight. We have Windu, we have Tree, we have Trin, we have Can, we have Paragon, we have Worm, we have Allah, we have Oz, we have Jamab, or whatever his Muslim name is, um, we have Quiss, we have Sniper, we have Blaze, <laughs> we have Nightwish, and we have Ross. Um, so quite a good turnout, 14 participants I think that is all together, maybe 16. And the Misty. And Misty, I don't, I don't even know if the brackets are even going on correctly tonight because Ref, unfortunately, is not here with us. Sad times. True, true. Now this is gonna be a very, very good dual tournament. I mean, the last one was really good, but actually, the last one it sucks that you missed it. Um, it was, it went on for like almost two hours. So hopefully this one is just as good. Well, yeah, you actually got correct. Like we got the stream on. It was like an hour and a half, which is very surprising. I wasn't actually thinking there was going to be any much of that kind of turnout, but um, everyone is wanting to go and get live and start. So um, hopefully uh, we'll be starting in just a second. Oh, Windows even here too. Yeah, mm -hmm. Windu was in, uh, in the last one. He was he was going to, but I think he he dropped out. Whatever. I think he had something to do. So. Well, as everyone can see, I'm going to change to the uh, to the game screen now. Um, so, giving you guys a better view of what's going on. Um, as you can see from the tab, uh, this is on my screen, so not Moss's, unfortunately. Um, you can see the list of people that are on and participating. The few, we've got the, the glorious bots, we've got me and Nos streaming. So I haven't introduced ourselves, it's um, Garn from Elite Squadron and Nos Ferrati from CE or Clan Empathy or whatever you want to call them. Thank you for the intro. No problem. Um, so, we're just waiting for everyone to start going. Or sort the brackets out, or what's going on. But hopefully, we should start in a few minutes. It seems to be this is the the longest period of the tournament, um, which is really quite depressing. How it takes so long to start, but hopefully, it'll be good this time. Oh yeah, the beginning of the tournament is always like the most ridiculous thing to wait for. I mean, it takes so long just to get organized, everybody get, you know, their shit together and whatnot. But once it gets together, then it gets very interesting, you know? No, definitely. Um, <laughs> some bad admin skills going down. I'm not surprised. Ref isn't controlling this, which is quite depressing, since he normally does and he normally participates. Um, but I think it might be Nightwish or Trin that's uh, doing the tournament tonight. Hopefully it goes right. I'm crossing my fingers so everyone else can enjoy this tournament. Um, but let's more talk about more about the players. So we've got a good list. We've got 14 people tonight. So who do you think is going to have the best chance to to win? Um, let me 
Let's see. Let me let me check. This. Oh my god. I'm t I'm telling you right now. This list is fucking amazing. We have. Look at this. Oh, I can't, I can't even like say like <laughs> right, right off the bat. Like, what, you know, right? A day it's night. such amazing duelers. Look at this. I mean, look. You have Trin, Blaze, Oz. Oz was amazing in the last fucking tournament. Um, Nightwish is a really good duel. I mean, JJ Worms, I mean, Ross, you know? It's. You cannot actually even say anything about it. You can't be like, oh, well. I don't know, these are the best duelers in this tournament. You can't. No, like, definitely. This tournament right now. Yeah, it's 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 full of amazing and I think, doors, and just to interrupt you, uh, I think that is the first the no, first fight of the of the tournament, Windu versus uh, Tree here, and um, it has just gone to Windu. Um, as I said, uh, as you said the other day, I don't think Windu was actually participating in the last few tournaments. He uh, did win just nicely against Tree there, and it would be disappointing to see Tree actually go out in the first round. Oh yeah, definitely. I still always have a yeah, I always have a spot for Tree. I think you know he's always been competing in every single tournament so far, and I want to see him go farther. I mean, that one tournament, the first, the very first tournament that we commentated, you know, um, that was amazing. You know, like he blew up a little bit, but the thing was, he got very far. You know, like, he's a really good player, so yeah, it would be really nice to actually see him go a little farther. You know. Um, so yeah, like Windu, Windu's very skilled. He's very, uh, he's very mixed style, which is very like I would say kind of rare to see in um, JK2 these days. A lot of people prefer that yellow and prefer um, just a heavy kind of red base. But he seems to be mixing up quite well and getting the best of Tree, which he just has. I think that's the, the um, that's it. Yeah, Windu has won the first round, and Tree has unfortunately been uh, out of the first round. Hold on, one of my, my friends on X-Fire wants to um, get the stream going. I have, to go give, I have to give him the link, I'm sorry, hold on. It's alright, don't worry. More viewers, more the best. Um, Nightwish has just announced the next few people, so everyone can see it is Trin vs. Cam. Um, Trin, I don't think actually did that well in the EU tournament, as what I can know from. Um, and Cam's a very good player with the blade stream. Let's uh, see if he's going to change that. Yeah, actually, in the last tournament that uh, just happened earlier, uh, Trin was in the finals. Um, it was him and um, oh God, the other guy. I cannot remember the name. I keep forgetting the name of the other guy. But Trin and him, anyway, were um, in the finals, and it was so close. It was like back and forth, back and forth, and then the other guy won. But it was really, it was really good. No, well, I'm I'm expecting a lot from Trin. Like we normally see his really style. It's very um, it's very base slash TFA kind of that red, the jumps in the air to um, to uh, get people off surprise and the timing. Um, but hopefully uh, he passes because Can is a good player. So it's kind of um it's kind of a messy start. Um Trin's down by thirty. And he's just hit off a nice yellow onto Cam. More hits taken down, Trin doing quite well. Cam down to eighty HP. Trin seems to be quite dominant lately in these in these rounds. He hasn't I don't think he's actually won a tournament yet. Here comes the um the overhead red which he favours so much. Both drop down to low HP. Two hits could finish. It's a heavy red. Both trying to finalise this first duel. 
Oh, wow. Both down. It's so close. It is very close. And there we go. Yeah, Trin oh really clinching that first Trin. jewel. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, and I don't even know. This probably might be the best fight of the tournament. Maybe not even the finals. They're two very well matched players. Uh, both got a different type of different type of um, style that works. Both of them. I'll tell you one thing. A matchup I want to see is Trin versus Majam. Majam is fucking amazing, and Trin is also. Awesome. So that would be very, very good. You know, it'd be, it'd be like so insane to see them two. Actually, those two actually. Well, at the moment, Trin has put down Cam to 50 HP. Um. I really think that Trin's got it now. Like you have that, that you have the nervous kind of jewel, don't you? You have that. Um, oh my word! Just everyone's X firing me while I'm streaming. Um, oh damn! No, definitely. He's Trin's. Trin's fine. Like I think it's always the first. It's the first kind of jewel that gets everyone. The nerves are in. The jewel. Uh, the tournament wants to go Wait, ahead. Don't from they? Would you like a big black penis? <laughs> I'm getting paged on flipping vents. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I mean. Page from Would You Like the Big Black okay. Penis? I'm gonna have to turn this off. Sorry, guys. Oh, damn. Can's coming back, but Trim's coming back with another one. No, definitely. Um. 2-28, to 28. oh, can got him. Yeah, so as I said, it might be the best one. Um, I really I really hope it is, actually. I really hope that Cam brings it back to 2-2, two -two and um, and then they go for that final kind of jaw. But it'll be, um, be upsetting to see both of them out in this first round. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like... One of them, I think, I mean, <laughs> they're both very good duelers, you can definitely tell. One, one of them's gonna get to at least, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> at least uh, the middle of the tournament, at least. I mean, they can get past that, I'm sure. Oh my word. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> there was Trin's, uh, signatory over the head, red, and he's just sealed the deal. A uh, fair play. Yeah, Trin's actually trying a lot more. I, I'm seeing that. Because when he doesn't really want to try, he does the jumping overhead, and yeah, he messes with people. But when he wants to really be a good dueler, then yeah, he'll kick your ass. That's how he is. Well, here's uh, Noss's girlfriend. Um, so, a lot of cheering going on here from Noss. Biased, biased commentary here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, like, hopefully, like Paragon, I, I'm actually really surprised because she she likes to take time to actually duel and fight and yeah. participate, which is good, and that's what the JK2 community needs at the moment. Yeah, I love Paragon, and I hope <laughs> she's getting some hits in. So we never know; could bring out a surprise. The force is with you. And there's the first jewel to worm. But I mean, you know, power's trying, and it's good to see. You know what? I actually dueled the worm earlier, and he owned me pretty damn bad. She's doing better than I'm doing against him, to be honest. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to uh, minimize the sounds, unfortunately. So sorry for everyone that's not hearing any sound. Um, but I'll go back to it. But um, no, definitely, like the participation is the main, the main thing, and that's what everyone wants. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, look at this. This, this is amazing. I mean, we have all these people. 
Oh, nine. In, um, nine HP left on oof. worm there from the overhead. Yeah, see, I mean, these are really good duels, you know. It's uh, I love watching like uh, what's it called like duels like this, like they're yeah. much closer instead of like you know like someone just getting like totally destroyed. But nah, that's what I like about these. These duels are way more like you know balanced and. Um, well, what um, what our conclusion was from the past few tournaments was the general fact that the American tournaments that are hosted, you know, later on for the for the Euros and for the other people, um, is the fact that they're a lot closer, and that the EU's a very there's a very big gap between skill, and the Americans bring it together and they have these really close games, like not maybe always, you know, two three or you know. There are some gaps, but they all seem to be a very close-knit group of skill. Oh yeah, definitely. So there's the um, there's confirmed free for Worm. Um, para, well, out by the first round, but very good participation. Um, see, look, a lot of people have joined late, which is a bit unfortunate due to the fact that we could have had a lot more. I think we could have had about 16 people. Um, but unfortunately, we look have a browse across the across the uh, the pings of people, and it does seem we have a few euros playing. So an elite squadron here versus an unknown. I don't know if you know who this Allah is or Atta or whatever has been pronounced for his um, for his name. No, I have no idea who this is, but it seems like he has uh, some very good skills in red. I'll tell you that. Well, he's just been dropped to uh, uh, 127. And Oz seems to be that kind of player that's very, um, <laughs> not aerodynamic, but very, um, very up in the air, very down to time with his red. He seems very quite biased on that red. And same with Alan, they seem to be sticking to that red. Um, but it seems like Oz does have a bit of that advantage. He's just done a he heavy drag, dropping it to 90. Both been hit. No, no, 19 and 19 and 100. That overhead right could have cost him. And there's the red. Oh, wow! Finished. And wow, still got him. I don't even think it was the lunge that finished him. I think it was just the the blue. The overhead blue that got him first. Oh yeah, it's definitely blue. Begin. That was insane though, man. I mean, like, <laughs> he he like already a fade, and that that's you know like that was that pretty much. Well, no, definitely. He dodged. Yeah. Right he, he he was quite open actually. I think as we said, like on the um, the last tournament, that sometimes it's a bit polite to kind of leave it when they've done like a. Yellow DFA or red DFA because you don't want that kind of cheap shot and you want to win when they're fully, you know, in control. Yeah, exactly. It makes more sense. And that's what we saw there, you know. It was actually good. Like, he didn't hit him after, you know, he did the RDFA. He actually jumped back and let him hit. Or let him, uh, jump off of it. Um, so, Ala down to seven. Ala sounds like, you know, there it goes. Um, and Oz is on 70, so big hits could come in. There's the defense. See, now if. Oz isn't. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, there it is, like, see, look. Oh, 
it's so good. Like, Ali, you know, he kept it calm. He kind of did the fact of putting the timing in. Um, and he just, um, he just sealed it. I think a lot of people play a lot better when they are on low HP and they know they've got that bit of, you know, bit of um, drive to get them into the next round. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, like when you see, like when you see uh, when you see Oz duel. I mean, he's a good dueler. Thing is, he's very tight. You know, he has a very uh, close knit style when he duels. I mean, when when you see the other guy right now, uh, Awa or Awa, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that, but A L A. Ala rock back. He's more loose. <laughs> yeah, basically. But, you know, he's very he's more like loose, but um. Oz is more uh, close knit. He's more uh, very uh, yeah, uh, close knit fighter. Maybe watch, watch. It's very close. I mean, 50 to 75 right now. 75 going to Oz right now. Oh, both low. Both both about the same health. Oh my God. This is one of the most. This, this, this yeah, this is one of the closest duels I've ever seen. Three HP apart. That's all. And they seem to be sticking at it. And I've just seen in the commands that actually the force has been changed for the people that want to know and why. It's minus one. I think Oz got this one. I think. Yeah. I don't sure know. There's a lot of there's a lot of air. Um, <laughs> Going around, there is a lot of you know that timing and waiting for the right spot. Oh, here we go. We're still waiting for that final blow. Oh my God, this this is a really good tool. It's one of the best tools I've seen in a while. Or longest. Oh my word! All my X fire and steam. Right. Yeah. But there you go. Um, let me look, let's all have a look at that and there. So Oz just got that big swing in by the red and took him down. I don't know if that's that's two one confirmed. Um, I don't know. Do you think that Alec can uh, bring it back or do you think it's just going to be a three one? Uh, I think. I think Oz has this one, to be honest. I think he really has it. I feel like completely dead. It's a good dueler, and he know. I mean, not, not take any, you know, not take anything away from the other guy, Alla, but saying Oz definitely has it down. He knows exactly where to hit, you know. So, and I think it's the first time for a few people. Like every every week that we do seem to see more and more players come on. There's the red, um, and he did go for it. Um, but we do see a lot more people come on and participate, and people that we haven't seen before, not regulars. You know, we have a lot of force users, a few insta big people, and it's good to see like the whole tight knit community of JKT. Oh yeah, I mean it's amazing to see like all these clans actually come together. Even like the clans that are like, oh blah blah blah, you know, they talk trash about each other. You know, there's a little trash talk here and there, and even if there's not, but you know there is that little kind of um, feud or whatnot with between clans, and it's so awesome to actually see them actually, you know, coexist in the server and just duel and have fun. It's great. No, definitely. As as you said, you know, uh, the the inter competition between clans, which you know, a competitive feel, you know, or what, which clan's better or which clan isn't. Um, and I don't think you can really put um, put a name to which clan's best. You know, it, you know, you've got to do you've got to do those clan tournaments or uh, you know the TFFA, but not from Jawlin. Jawlin is that individual bragging rights that we've always said. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, without a doubt. I mean, <laughs> that's that's one of the things that's um people still brag about, like um, when they go into different clans. I mean. I still hear about it all the time. A lot of people say, like, oh, this clan's, you know, yeah, he got him. I knew it. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it. like, um, you know, like, um, it's, I don't know, certain clans will be like, yeah, we're better than this clan, blah, 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 we have better duelers than this clan. I mean, you can see that, 
to some sort of extent, but you really can't, you know, until you've dueled the whole clan. I mean, it's... Every clan has its really good duelers. It's really hard to actually say which clans are, you know, better than which other ones. You know what I'm talking about? No, definitely. Like, um, there's different skill levels in different in different clans. You know, you got you got some people like from LOL and ZIMC and Elite Squadron that do like TFFA and Jawlin's very just individual. It's that individual skill of bragging rights and you know, controlling your reds, your yellows, your blues, when to lunge, when not to lunge, your timing. And that's, you know, that's down to you. It's not down to the the clan that you're with. So I don't think that you can really put them into that kind of group. Right, yeah, you really can't. I mean, like, everybody has their own thing with what they do, you know? Like, the heck? It's a restart, because I'm assuming it was the, um... The lovely bug that we seem to experience every every tournament. So here's the jewel. Uh, interesting to see. Got some ping issues from Jab or Jamb. However, you want to pronounce his queer homosexual name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He made it. He made it clear. He told me. He was telling me. Um, it's Jam. J A M B. No, no. It's, it's, it, it's like it's like uh, it's like Wakey or whatever. You know, we give him a name. That that's his name. That's that's how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, Jam is cool as hell. I know him for a long time, so... Wow. Jam. Why, wait till you see him duel, though. You'll be impressed. He's a very good duel. Will I be impressed with Anos? I think so. Will I my, think so. Will, my, will I get him an erection from such skill level? That's, that's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know, but I don't know if we can go that far. But you know, he's a very good dueler. But I'm saying, you know, it's yeah, it's we'll see like um, how he duels and everything. They're close like, at the I'm moment. Hoping, yeah, he's a really good dueler. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm, pull, I'm pulling for basically a uh, jam and uh, God, someone else. <laughs> I don't hold on. He's got a message. I'm sorry. I don't know, like. Uh, these people, they've got to live up to a lot of, not pressure, but their own kind of boasting of how good they are. And some people just crack. Like, definitely in some sort of competitive competitive outlook. You know, Chris is doing alright, and Jam is, you know, Jam's on four. They're both so low. One hit, one kind of roll into each other. It's all done. It's all finished. I think Jam's got this... I mean, Quiz is amazing. I've dueled him too, also, plenty of times. He's very, he, yeah, he's a very good dueler. But I'm saying, yeah, see, I told you. Like, it's Jam just knows how to fucking bang it out, man, for real. Bang one out, When he eh? wants to win, he. Yeah. Sounds dirty. Um, but no, yeah, <laughs> as you, um, <laughs> as you said, you know, I don't know, it's so close between, between, you know, the Americans and maybe some Euros. I know we do have some Euros on here, um, but no, it is very close. It's great though. I mean, like, if you look at the pings, they're actually they're actually very similar. Like, if you look like straight down the lines, it's basically all 100, 91, 93, 93. Blah, blah, blah. No, definitely. But you really can't tell that much because <laughs> a lot of people are spectating but I mean like for the most part um it's um yeah it's basically around the same thing so each heavy other. reds but, heavy reds coming in from Chris there really lowering the lowering the, the well the health of the jam it's, um I don't know he seems to get it off and then it's the panic when the last few hundred so let's see if you can actually seal the deal or finalize this jewel I think GM's gonna come back with some yellow and then a little bit of red. I 
don't know, the defense from Chris is quite nice. I feel like I'm gonna yeah, say I feel go. like I'm gonna say Quim every time I say his name. <laughs> I just we're rolling off rolling off the tongue. Damn. Yeah, watch well, Jam though. Jam is fucking amazing. He has like almost perfect timing. It's awesome. I don't know, he has put he, he has had a bit of a slop because he is, you know, oh Oh my well I, Damn. Yeah, there you go. I see look, I told you it's close. There's there's always these upsets that come around. Always. Yeah man, that was super close, holy crap. And I think it's bugged again. Yeah, James got a problem. <laughs> yeah, he has to restart. Yeah. I think so. No, yeah, they can't draw, and that's the, that's the bug that seems to be coming. I don't know if this is on the pro mod or just base. Um, let's have a look. I can't even spell version. I feel pretty feel pretty uh, down syndrome at the moment. I'm a weird. I can spell <laughs> shit. You can tell that uh, alcohol and streaming does uh, not go hand in hand. But um, this is the, the third jewel of this section. Oh, some heavy reds. Heavy reds coming in. Uh, jam put low straight away with some uh, with some yellow spam. Quiz down on one. Yeah, Jim got it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I figured he had that one, like, even before he had, like, the guy on 1 HP. But I mean, like, James got that, he's got that, he knows exactly where to hit you and when to hit you. He's got very good timing. That's what I was saying, like, I was pulling for, uh, Trin or Jam in this one, basically. I want to see them two duel. Those two duel. That would be amazing. Uh, well, I t <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, I'll tell you this now. Yesterday, well, not yesterday, last week, it was what? It was um, Dio Jeans, Trin, and Ross that were top of the leaderboards. Now, I actually really want Ross to win this one. I know it seems surprising, but I really want him to. I really want him to win. Now Ross is a really good dueler also. I mean, I duel him here and there, but I've seen him duel plenty of times when I'm not dueling him, and he's a really good dueler. Definitely. Well, I feel like I just want to see, I want to see that dirty little yellow spam that comes in, ruins you at about 50 HP, and you come out and you're like, my ass is bleeding, you know. That's basically what... That was a heavy red. Oh my word. Took him by surprise. Yeah, that was a nice overhead. No, I totally understand what you're saying. I mean, like, Ross, Ross could just pull out that insane yellow out of nowhere, you know? And he has, yeah, he has very, very good um, yellow skills. Taking care of business. Well, this beautiful mod is uh, requiring a lot of restarts. <laughs> but as it goes, it goes. Unfortunately, um, I think it's the fact that they keep killing themselves afterwards, and that's not really helping. But they think it is. So. It's two two. So there could be a massive upset. We could see Jam go out. Oh, there's a heavy red. I think James got this one. Mm, does seem like it. Oh, Jam's not even trying, man. I don't know. Chris could be like one of those people that brings it all out. Oh, no, See? took took the words out of my mouth there. The force is with um, you. But no, really good try from Chris. I, you know, unsurprising. I think a really good mod would be Nos. They should do, they should make a mod that allows you to put bets on. As as we were reading, as I was reading the chat, people were like, oh, you know, put all my money on jam or whatever. But I mean, it would be a really good little um, little mod, and it would be a bit of that. You know, you could add it to those credits, and they could go and do something or whatnot. Oh yeah, definitely, man. That'd be awesome. 
That'd be so cool. They actually did that. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, it seems definitely. that Nightwish has put himself, well, not put himself against, but um, it's Nightwish versus Windu, so <laughs> I don't know whether it's going to be close or if it's going to be complete, complete smash. Uh, but all we do know is that Windu is um, a good player, good duelist. Oh yeah, definitely, without a doubt, man. Windu's a very good duel. So here's the start. Some dirty yellow spam from Windu. Dropping to 60, now down to 110. I think we're more going to be focusing on Windu on these uh, jaws here. Um, he is dropped down. Uh, Knight on 26. <laughs> and confirmed. Yeah. Windu has very good timing also. I mean, you can see it right there. No, definitely. It's basically right now, it's coming down to, you know, timing versus, um... You know. Well, I think, I think down to the fact that, like, in the very beginning, Windows saw that gap. He took that... He took that yellow drag, so dropping 60 shield, and that's it. Like, when you're down to that much, you kind of know it's all over. Yeah, see, Night Nightwish is... There's a bit of slop, and he's just picking He's picking the times. Um, you know, that was so quick, down. Um, you know, even, even for Nightwish, you know, that was Oh, wow. You, you know what? I didn't even realise... We didn't say it. We didn't even like realize his ping. Look at the ping difference. Wow. 196. Night Nightwish has 196 ping right now, and Windu has 48. That's a humongous difference. I didn't even notice that until you just pointed that out. Yeah, I think that's why he's finding the gaps. Like, I think Nightwish is a Euro. He's got to be a Euro with that ping. Um, but no, nah, that is that oh, is yeah. a bit of a disadvantage to be honest. Well, not just a bit, quite a fair bit. But I think Window is going to win anyway, even if he had the same amount of ping. Unfortunately. Oh yeah, not not to take anything away from Window at all. I mean, Window is an amazing dueler. But I'm just saying. I mean, like. <laughs> he made like like they just said, you know, he made such short work of him. It's I mean, come on. Nightwish is pretty good too, you know, he's decent. And I don't know. <laughs> when you have that big of a ping, yeah, you're gonna get fucking fucked up, you know. No, you are. That's but true. I'm saying Yeah, you know, like Yeah, not not exactly like I said, like uh not to take anything at all away from Windu. Windu is amazing. He's a good dealer, but you know, that, that that really has to take into uh, counting a little bit. And definitely, so we've got Trin versus Worm. Um, two very different type of styles. Um, I think Worm's very quite quite close to yellow spam, maybe. Um, Trin's very red. He's got that. He's got his overhead red, so everyone's got to watch out for that. Um, but I don't know, like, it does seem we get a lot more of the sense that the more further people get, the less hard they try. I know that sounds really stupid, but it seems like it's just quick to get it over and done with. No, you're actually right. I mean, I noticed that in the last tournament, actually. Um, a lot of people were, you know, they worked their asses off, and then once they got to the end, they were like, yeah, I could probably either win this or not, and... They they just pretend you know they just don't care. They're like, oh okay, well I might win this, and if I don't, who cares? You know that that's how it is. Like, a lot of people, you're right though. A lot of people actually try a lot more in the beginning of the tournament because they know they have to keep progressing to actually keep relevant in the tournament. <laughs> and there's the banter. Um, so hopefully this starts now instead of this pottering. Um, but no, hopefully we um, we see a good duel from these two. And 
and see, look, here's, here's, this, here's this dirty yellow spam that comes in all the time. Like, it's got a good defence, it's got a good offence. Trin's been taken down. I'm assuming, you know, he's high as a bollock, but let's see if he can do this. The thing is, Worm has very, very good defence. He has one of the best defensive... <laughs> he has, he's probably has, he's probably one of the, the, the best defence I've ever seen in this game. Like him and Hinty from back then. They have amazing defense. No, definitely. Um, so, we don't know if Trin, like, we saw in the last tournament that Trin didn't try at all for, like, the two duels and then just smashed it. So, I don't know if that's what's happening now. I don't know whether Worm is just too much for him. Um, but, let's, let's see. And it just seems to be. Uh, like, oh. th this is gonna be. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, seriously. I was just about to say. You know, there's the, there's that cheeky like yellow. It seems to like the style of yellow seems to have that like extra ten foot on it. Like it's a massive saver and. <laughs> it's just horrendous when you get hit by it. Like, you get dropped so easily from those little gaps. Well, the thing that's really interesting about this match, I mean, they're both very defensive right now. But, you know, like, they're very, very defensive. Now they're getting aggressive, like, towards the end. But, yeah, towards the, like, you know, towards the beginning, they're very defensive. And that's what makes the duel very interesting. Okay. Oh, there you go. That was so wow. close. Like it, it shouldn't even shouldn't even gone that way. Um, yeah, that was really close. But you know, this is is Trin gonna try now? Is he gonna bring it back? Are we gonna see you know that kind of Trin that we all know, or is it just gonna be one of those flops? I don't know. To be honest, um, the Worm's really good. He's a really good dueler, so I, I can't tell you if. Um, Trin's just gonna pull it out of nowhere and be like, okay, I'm gonna win. He can do that, I mean, he can do that out of nowhere, but the thing is, Worm's pretty damn good. I'll tell you that, I dueled him today, earlier. Well, there seems to be yeah, a bit of a... Very, very there seems to be a bit of a kerfuffle. So, there we go, there's one win of people that can see on the stream for Worm. And... Let's have a look. And there's two, so it is 2-0. It isn't 1-1. Um, so that is confirmed on the stream for people to know. Like, if, if Trin can, uh, you know, pull out some more yellow and deflect Worm's hits, then he might have a chance. But if he can't, nope, done. <laughs> some cheeky yellow, uh, not yellow, blue from Trin. Trin always prides himself on his blue abilities, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I think Trin's got this down. Like he's dropped to, he's dropped Worm to twenty-four, chipping away at those shins. The force is not yeah, there we go. Here's the oh, comeback. Damn, comeback king. Here we come. Begins. I'm looking forward to seeing a lovely overhead overhead red from Trin. I'm still I, I still have yet to see Trin actually do his you know patented move where he jumps up and does the overhead. He hasn't done it at all in this at all. Like he hasn't done it at all in this duel whatsoever. I think he's very concentrated actually right now. He's more like uh going yellow. 
pretty awesome. It's really close. This is actually a really good duel. No, you're not, definitely not. I think the fact is that Trin, like, of conversations with Trin and how he plays or whatnot, you know, he always says that he gets bored. Like, he gets bored and he just wants to, like, get over and done with and do those reds and just you know, have a bit of fun. But I do feel like he's trying. I think he has a lot more to prove in the American jewels than he does in the uh, EU jewels. And unfortunately, unable wow. to uh, bring it back from Trin. That was really close. That was really good, actually. It was. I feel like the fact that Trin was trying too much to um, to kind of not keep it skilled, but to keep it more of the sense to a different style that he um, that he wasn't, you know, comfortable with. You know, there's a lot of a lot of yellow. And a lot of defense, and that's not Trin. That's not you know who we normally see. It's normally the fact that we see Trin, you know, with that really heavy red and that really quick blue, to really just chip away at the health and the shield and to just get it finished. And you know, he should have taken a bit more chances. Well, the thing was that I don't know. I've never seen Trin duel like that before. Usually, he's more um red and more, uh, you know, jumpy when it comes to red, doing more overheads and more, um, precise hits with red, but he was actually very, um, he was, he was actually more going towards timing and everything, it was pretty cool to see that, like, he was actually going towards timing and, um, using yellow and everything, it was pretty cool. Yeah, maybe showing a bit of more of a, like, dynamic side to, to Trin's ability, um, but I don't know who, who's up next, there seems to be a lot of chit-chat. It could be, it could be Ro like Ross is up, but we do know that Ross is in the bracket, so hopefully we see him play now or at some point. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look at the brackets. So let me refresh. Let's have a, a gander. Um, so we've seen that Windu's gone through first. Uh, Trin went through that round. So the semi finals is Windu and Worm. Um, it is now Ross v. Oz and Jam versus Blaze in the second round. So it would be an interesting to see these four, well, these four kind of left jewels. Whoa. Damn, that was quick. I wasn't even watching, wasn't even there, guys. Sorry, we completely missed that from Ross. Um, dropped in the first round, it seems. That was very quick. Ross got him pretty fast. I mean, I can't take anything away from uh, Oz, because Oz, I've seen Oz, you know, fuck plenty of people up, but... Wow, this should be really good. No, definitely, and you know it's Ross gun good that one. Ross, I don't know. I don't know if Ross has been improving since, or he's just keeping that same kind of style and skill that he's always had, or that you know no one could handle that that yellow that he's giving out. Yeah, Ross has an amazing yellow sense, and the thing is, um, he has gonna, really good aim. And it's gonna be an ace. It's gonna be an ace. Right. <laughs> See, he has very, very Rolled. good yellowing. Oh dear! And you can't mess with that. No, not at all. That's I mean, if you, if the the thing is, I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. I can't really. <laughs> that, that, I think that's the biggest reason why I hate yellow. Like, it's so surprising when it gets burst out. When when he does that horrendous yellow drag, you know, signature move, hands down, and he drops, you know, drops you to that low HP. You just you gobsmacked. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that. It's, it's <laughs> Ross just knows what's going on. Like, he knows exactly where to hit you, and when to hit you. I mean, like. When it comes to yellow, he's got you. And actually, blue also. Yeah, definitely. 
I think he's just trying to seal the deal now. Like he, he's got, he's got the two. He doesn't mind playing sloppy, and so he's just going to win it. He's going to finish it. Yeah, I definitely think Ross has it too. Yeah, there you go. Finishing, yeah, you got finishing with the blue. <laughs> Perfect. He got an ace. Um, the yellow is ridiculous. <laughs> and, you know, my money, my money is on Ross. Wait, so did, any, did anybody actually go to first place yet? <laughs> or second place or anything? Uh, no, this is the second round still, like because I think we had 14 people, so we had to deduce from that. But from from what we can see now, Begin. Um, let me have a quick tab out. Uh, we can see that uh, it's oh, window wow. and window and worm in sem semi-finals, and it's now Jam vs Blaze for the second semi-final place. Shoot. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. Oh man. Just imagine Jam versus Windu. Now that would be freaking great. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's. I, d I don't. I, re I really want Ross in there. Like Ross versus Windu, or Ross versus Jam. Like, no homo, but. He has got the skill, and he has, you know, he has got the time in. He, his red is pretty dog, but with his blue and yellow, he's he's got it, you know, sorted. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I totally agree. I mean, like, if yeah, if he can get in there with more of those uh, red and yellow against these guys, yeah, he can definitely get in there among the top. Yeah, but it's. I don't know, I, I just really want to see Jam vs. Windu for some reason. Either way, you know, these finals, the some you. sloppy yellow DFA there, but I mean, the semi-finals and the finals, you know, they are the they are the matchup of the best. So, we will see some good duels. Begin. So all hoping for some sort of close, some close uh, dueling, um, and hopefully we see this go to a two-two two, to about a three. So two-three we're hoping for. <laughs> well, we have to remember, Blaze still has that problem with his computer and everything. Or he has a bad FPS. And I'll tell you one thing: this guy could fucking duel with bad FPS. I mean. He's beating me plenty of times, and look at this right now. I mean, he's, he's competed with Jim. Oh my Jim word. is amazing. That yellow. Down to 17 HP. So there's 1 1. See? Blaze. The blaze is pretty tough. You gotta watch out. Begin. <laughs> And there you go. It's bad FPS, but you know what? <laughs> There's the blame on the FPS. Yeah. 20 FPS or my wooden PC can't do Yeah, it. man. Dude, he gets bad FPS, but you know what? He fucks people up, I'm telling you. Do you know what he does? He's still probably one of the best duelers I've seen. It's, it's, all, it's all that wood polish. It's ruining his PC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So um, Blaze coming back strong here, you know, lost the first jaw, he's just brought it back for 1-1. One, one. Um, Jam's on 48, and Blaze is on uh, 104. And there's that red, that's that, that, not red, there's that sloppy yellow that just comes out and... That's, it's not the time to do it. <laughs> Oh, that's very close. But he shouldn't have got away with that, so unfortunately. Got... He shouldn't. He shouldn't have got away with that yellow DFA. He he did it right out of time, Begin. and he could have just 
chomped down on his head and just finished it. But it was a miss hit with the red. There's that yellow dropping, dropping some health. Finally, got in it on time. That's a heavy red. It seems like Blaze has lost this one. So it's 2 2. See, this is a very close fight. I mean, look at this. Blaze is actually competing still with Jam. Jam is fucking amazing, and <laughs> Blaze is actually, you know, bringing it right to Jam. You know, fucking well, right, you know, straight out, right in his well, face. This isn't this isn't about ping this time. Like you do know that Blaze is, um, you know, he's got a polystyrene PC, um, but <laughs> hopefully he can bring it back and actually win this. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, Blaze got a 20 FPS. Yeah, he's got 20 FPS. And it's that freaking amazing that he can actually do this. It's, it's crazy. Like, I've dueled him plenty of times, like I said, and oh my god. This kid, this guy can just pull stuff out of nowhere. He's a really good dueler. Yeah, and it seems like Blaze has just lost it here, like... He, the, de the defense, there's the... Uh, <laughs> It's just over. I feel like it's over, definitely. Oh yeah, right now I think Jam's got it. I hate to say it. But, um... Yeah, Jam's got it. I think Blaze gave up a little bit. Yeah, no, definitely. I, don't, I think I think once you stay in at that 20 FPS range, you just know that you can't do anything about it. Oh my word, some heavy yellows there. Oh, <laughs> we might yeah, be wrong. Yeah, Damn. we might be wrong. First time for everything, Nos. Right? Oh my god. Yeah, this is way beyond close. Holy shit. I'm just not hoping for that disgusting, sloppy, yellow DFA and ruins it. Oh my god, I really hope he does not do with YDFA. <laughs> if he does YDFA, he's done. That's it. No, definitely. Don't do it, please. Waiting for it, they're nervous. I love it. I love this tension. Oh yeah, yeah he's definitely trying. He's trying to even it out. I, I I see what he's doing. All this death. He's definitely measuring it out. I really hope he doesn't go for that YDFA though, man. If he does, he's done. Oh, he's he's oh. he's done it. He's cl oh, clutched. Oh my clutch god. Clutch hero. Clutch hero. Now that was fucking amazing. That was some. That was a the, the best one hands down today. Even the final can't really compare to such. On the edge of my seat, you know. Don't. You know, oh, well done, Blaze. Well done. So I'm guessing this is. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing this is the semi-final. Is this a window versus worm? Um, two yellow styles, two death. Um, hopefully, this is as good as the last one. Damn! Oh wait, who's it? It's window and worm. Not oh, window. Oh man, window and worm this is gonna be nuts. These are gonna be fucking amazing duels. Watch this. So here it goes. A lot of yellow, I'll tell you that. Yep. A lot of yellow and a lot of deflex. It's gonna be amazing. And worm down already to 138. Or 39, my bad. Now, if you notice the style of window, it's very. 
like he's gonna be chipping at your big toes. He's looking at the floor, he's looking for that drag. Same with Worm, they've got the same kind of style. It's close. Windu takes the first Very draw. Nice. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a very, very close one. I don't know. Probably not as close as the last, the last um, two jewelers. That was extremely close. Um, but I don't know. As you said, it is the semi-finals, so we are looking for something a bit more impressive. Oh yeah, I mean like. <laughs> You're, n you're not gonna get any closer than the last duel. Oh my god. That was fucking ridiculously close. You can never get that much. Yeah, you, you can't get that close ever again. That was ridiculously awesome. Um, so Worms, you know, on top at the moment, uh, took out some nice, some nice yellow. He's like, he's catching that just so nicely. And again. And so it's 1-1. One, one. But that's like, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to that yellow. It's that horrible sense that it feels like it shouldn't hit, but it has. And you feel ruined by it. Oh yeah, definitely. So, window on top of this third jewel. There's that horrible rebound that no one likes when they're going into a swing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to call this one for Windu. Who are you calling for? I don't know. I'd like to see the upset of Worm winning, but at the moment it doesn't seem very likely. It just seems that Windu does have the, uh, the edge over him. Yeah, Windu's just... he just has those... He has very, very good skill with yellow, and like, not not take anything away from Worm. Worm's amazing with yellow also, but I'm saying, Windu just knows exactly when the turn, when you, when you swing at him. He has, he has very, very good deflecting skills, you know? No, definitely. Totally understandable, but I definitely looking at, looking at the way he plays. And there's that yellow, like, it's so horrendous, you know, I would like to see a bit more red, like, you know, sometimes it'd be good to see Zen come out and, you know, show us how water red and use his timing, but, um, no, Windows really chipping away at Worm here, trying to seal, seal the last round to go into the finals. And there we go. The force got him. With you. That's close. They're still very close fights. I mean, each each one of those very close to. No, yeah, no, definitely, totally understandable. Well, everyone's been close today. <coughs> like, no doubt about it, everyone's been close. Uh, so it's Ross versus Blaze, both horribly good with their red, uh, not red drags, those yellow drags. Um. And let's hope it's extremely close as it was when it was Jam versus Blaze. Oh, Jam versus Blaze? This this is gonna be interesting. Not Jam versus Blaze, it's Ross versus Blaze. Oh, Ross versus Blaze. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's alright. Yep, no, it's interesting. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's still gonna be very interesting, actually. Well, I don't know if it's actually, gonna be really defensive or they're just gonna get in each other's grill. Both on 140. No, I think it's gonna be very aggressive. It's gonna be Ross, Ross rushing at him, and Blaze backing off but trying to get those red hits in. Yeah, we do see we do see that, you know, the red and roll. There's that red, that rebound red it is horrendously to try and figure out. Oh, some heavy, heavy reds by Blaze. Oh. 
See? It's very good. He, 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 has a, he has really good fucking rent. And then, you know, we're waiting for Ross's signature that's yellow. It's... That's why, yeah, that's why it's a really good match. I mean, Ross has amazing yellow. He's trying to match his yellow with his red, you know? It's, yeah, see? It's very close. I mean, you know, it's Ross's yellow versus Blaze's red, and it's going to be really good. I well, can't wait to see how this turns out. As we saw there, Ross was Ross had the edge, and then you know Blaze just brought back that brilliant kind of red deflect and into a swing, and just took it down. And he waited for it, and I think he was a bit lucky when it came to it, but he still won that still won that round. And there's his, there's Ross's yellow, down to 80 HP. Both trying to make an impact, and both want to be in the finals. I think I think Ross got this one. This match at least. Well you know, this is over here. I think Ross really wants it. Well, Ross there we go, yeah, so Ross, you know, bring it one one. And you know, Ross Ross is my you know, my horse I'm betting on at the moment, but hopefully <laughs> hopefully, you know, it'll be a two two and we will see that last duel, you know sweat on their brow, very focused into getting to that final. <laughs> Some sloppy red. Both dropping them to 30. Oh, yeah. Ross over above by about 30 shield. And it's not really one. It's not really one that we can call as much. Like they're very, very close. Both on the same HP. Both chipping away. I'll tell you one thing. Ross has great yellow, like I was saying earlier. But Blaze can. He just. He just shows that he can fucking match him right now. With well, Ross, seem, Ross seems to have this. Like, ooh, it seemed a bit sloppy from Blaze, and we can't really, you know, say it's sloppy. It might be because of the fact that it's FPS or whatever's going down. Uh, I'm not taking it any way to Ross, of course. But, you know, we're looking for... I don't know, the styles are the same, so it's very hard to kind of call what kind of... who's going to win. Oh, my word, and... Um, <laughs> and there's a bit of... A bit of break there. Um, Blaze has been talking, and Ross has just hit him. Um, so it's going to have to be a restart. But yeah, I mean, like, like I was saying, like earlier, um, Blaze really was just bringing it to Ross for yellow, man. I want to see both of them one on one, all yellow. Now that would be a freaking amazing. No, yeah, definitely. Um, I think I think they should make a mod which really kind of blocks everyone from kind of saying stuff to the jewelers. It would be, you know, it'd be a lot beneficial for their focus and to avoid them from typing back and whatnot. Um, but there's nothing really much we could do. We got to get that sorted. You know, it's still very early of these tournaments. Um, a nice, a nice yellow from from both there. <laughs> Both on the same HP, they're doing quite well. And Ross... <laughs> there you go, Ross has clinched it against Blaze. Yellow over yellow, and Ross seems the to be the, uh, the king of the yellow sabres at the moment. Um, but no, it's Windu versus Ross now, and they're both still very yellow. So this will be very interesting. Begin. 
begin. <clears throat> now, I don't know what this is. I think this might be a rematch. I, I don't know if it's Santa Blaze or <laughs> or Dance Ross. My co-partner in this stream has gone for extremely long piss, as I've been informed, and most of you will be because you can see my X fire. Um, so you have to bear with a boring English accent. It shouldn't be a rematch. I don't know if everyone agrees or not to agree, but um, I think it should just be Ross versus Windu to get it done, to get it sorted. You know, people should people have a lot of chance to sort out their lag and their FPS and their game beforehand. It does take us about half an hour at least to get everyone on and get ready. This is a tournament. I feel like it is fair that once it's gone, it's happened. He's trying to give the bait out to Ross. But no. Ross has won. Um, and I think that's what it's going to stick with. Unfortunate for Blaze. Bit of a sore loser, but who wouldn't be in the semi finals? See, bad sportsmanship ruins the, the ruins the game. Anyways, this is the final. Windu versus Blaze. Um, very, very anticipated. Begin. Not Windu versus Blaze. It's not bad. Windu versus Ross. Um, no, but very anticipated. As I said, Ross is my winning horse, and and Windu should be. That same kind of jaw expert, if that is what we like to call him. Definitely with that yellow. I don't even know what's going on because Blaze has lost. So hopefully, we get to it. The force is with you. So here we go, <clears throat> Ross versus Windu, the final of this third US tournament. Both have yellows, Ross really getting that drag out. Windu looking for his way in. Windu down to 80 HP. Surprising. Thought the death would have been there. But Ross clearly has that advantage with that yellow drag. Really been practicing that. Both down to under 100. Windu looking to finish it with that red. Maybe a blue coming out now. Windu down low. One more hit and he's gone. The force is with you. There it is. One nil to uh, one nil to Ross. Begin. <laughs> Unfortunately, my commentator partner has gone for a piss and I see him pissing like a horse. Oh so. my word, you've missed out. Yeah, I just took I just took like the biggest pee ever. <laughs> Peeing like I'm a horse. Sorry. Well Ross has won the first duel against Windu to fill you in. Um Trin was being a bitch oh, and didn't leave because Trin was Blaze or whatever crap was going on. 
Um, <laughs> I know some shit was going down, some bitches being bitches. Um, but Ross and Trin are at it now, um, and Windu has the edge over Ross at the moment. Ross getting hit by that cheeky blue. Seems to be a lot of back and forth here, waiting for that opportune moment. Down to 50 by Ross. Could be very close if Ross gets off that yellow spam. Oh wow, Windu versus Ross, holy shit. This could be awesome. Both on low, really looking for that yellow track to finish it, or that heavy red, and Windu has drawn it up 1 1. I don't know, I, th I think Windu's got this. I think, I think he's got this. I think Windu might actually win this tournament. It's, well, it's definitely going to be close, no doubt about it. Both getting chipped away. Ooh, that launch hurt. No, definitely. Uh, Windu making that comeback. Both kind of hitting each other, trading that HP. There's still some heavy hits. Look, they're going right to it. Down seven. Windu bringing it out. Damn. I'm telling you, I, th I don't know. Right now, I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Windu's gonna win this tournament. I think so. <laughs> There's that cheeky aerial red that everyone loves doing. Probably the first nice combo you ever learn in JK. Heavy drags, heavy drags by both. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. Oh, Windu coming with yeah. strong with that blue Double one. and the red coming in close. Can Ross draw it? And there's that blue lunge down to 10 HP. And there it is, it's nice, sealed. Yeah. Uh, sealed. Windu. I knew it. Windu really performed today like. You know, I was looking for that upset, like I really wanted Windy to go out for an upset, not because of the fact that I dislike him or anything along those lines, just he's a good school player, his his yellow is off the chain, his red's timely, his blue's pain in the ass, um, but just a bit, bit disappointing for Ross. I feel like he should have performed a bit better in that. Um, but as we saw, we had two really close matches, I think it was the fact of a first round um, a first round match and then the um, the quarterfinals or semi-finals that we was in when it was Ross versus Blaze or Trin or whoever the hell it was I really don't care at the moment <laughs> um, but <laughs> but no, they, um, they they did really well and I was actually you know really happy for Windy to win I don't know if that's his first win of American 1-1 on -one Jewels but well done to everyone that participated and everyone that came to watch and view. I've been Elite Squadron Garn and I was joined with C. Nasserati and we shall see you next week. Thanks for listening everybody.